Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Patsala. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build tab component in React. This is how the app will look like after implementation. We are going to use Wait here, which is a modern build tool for React projects. So, without delaying, let's get started. I've created a tabs folder and have opened the same in Visual Studio Code. Go to terminal, new terminal, and run the command npm create. We at the rate latest React Tabs. React Tabs is the name of our project. Select React as framework and JavaScript as variant. Next, let's change working directory to React Tabs. To install the necessary packages, let's run npm install. Finally, run the command npm run dev to start the local development server. We will use the URL logged in the terminal to launch the app. So, our app is up and running. Next, open the app.jsx file and remove everything from the return statement. Let's create div element and give class name as main container. Inside this div, we will give element h1 and text as choose your food. Let's remove few more unnecessary code. After that, in app.css file, remove the existing styles. Come back to app.jsx file. Before that, in the assets folder, let me add few images which we will be using in our project. In the next step, let's create an array containing all the data. So, const food data is equals to object in the array has three properties food fact i'll just copy and paste the content for fact you can use your own content and lastly image source assets pizza.jpc Similarly, we will quickly create other objects. Next, create two components, tab buttons and 
and tab content which will control the tab and display the tab's content respectively. Then import them into the app component. Next, we will pass the data array into both components using props. Tab buttons, it will receive food data as a prop. Tab content will also receive food data as a prop. For the tab buttons component, let's declare the function. Export default function tab buttons food data as a prop. Return Let's create a div element with last name tab header. Food data dot map method to iterate over the array. Item represents the current element and index is its position in the array. Next, create li element with class name tab button. Here set unique key prop for each li element. Key is equals to curly braces item dot food. To display the output inside li within the curly braces will give item dot food. Next for the tab content component let's declare the function. Export default function. Tab content. Food data as a prop. Return. Create a div with class name tab container. Inside we'll give another div with class name tab content. Now let's write the code to render list of food, each showing image and a fact. So food data dot map method meal create a div key is equals to meal. For each meal in food data, a new div is created. This div will include image. Set the source attribute to meal.image, which is path to an image. Next, in the p element, give meal.fact, which is description related to meal. Let's check the output in browser. So currently the UI looks like this. Let's add CSS to make it look better. Go to app.css file and for body give font family sans serif. I have provided the link for CSS styles in the description. Next we will use the colon root selector which will target the root element of the document. Set dash dash text color to orange. This is the color code and dash dash bg color to light pitch. This is the color code for light pitch. We will use this custom properties throughout the CSS file. After that let's write CSS for main container. So display flex, flex direction column, align items center. For color use the custom property so var dash dash text color. Do the same thing for background as well. Let's check in the browser. Okay, next add 
border radius 2 rem give gap 1 rem so you can see the difference next for h1 give main container h1 font size 2 rem margin 1 rem 000 after this let's go to tab button component and we will write css for tab header display flex lead style none gap 2 rem next tab header li will give flex 1 cursor pointer padding 1 rem border 2 px solid again use the same text color var text color text align center font size 1 rem border top right radius 100% border top left radius 100% looking nice after that in the tab content component let's write css for tab container display flex flex direction column font size 1 rem width 60 rem border radius 2 rem padding will give 1 rem we'll add some shadow so for that box shadow inset minus 3 px minus 3 px then 3 px and rgba we'll give this value then again give the same thing Let's check in the browser. Now for the tab content, we'll give display flex, flex direction as column, justify content space between, align items center, padding one rem, gap one rem. and border 2 px solid var give the text color background will give white color and border radius 2 rem next for the image tab content image will give max width as 31 rem max height as 20 rem and width as 100% for the text we'll give tab content p text align center in the next step let's implement the tab functionality in app component we will use the use state hook so const active tab function set active tab is equals to use state default value as 0 come down to tab buttons and give here active tab is equals to active tab which lets us know which tab is selected then set active tab is equals to pass the function set active tab in tab content pass active tab prop to indicate which tabs content should be displayed next go to tab content component i'll just come in this lines of code because it renders all items and we need just one pass active tab as prop this determines which items content from food data should be displayed image source is equals to food data active tab dot image This renders an image corresponding to currently active tab. Next, give p element and inside that give food data active tab dot fact. This renders paragraph specified by active tab. Let's check in the browser. So it shows just the first item from the data array. 
Next, for the tab click functionality, go to tab buttons component. Pass two more props active tab and set active tab function. Inside Ally, let us define event handler for click event. On click is equals to arrow function. Set active tab, pass index. With that, our tab component works and data is displayed based on the button click. Now let us highlight the active tab which is being clicked. For that, remove this and within curly braces give template literal. Give tab button as class name which is the static class name. Then we will write conditional expression. Check if index of current tab is equals to active tab. If the condition is true, active class is added. In order to write CSS, go to app.css file and for active class give background where give the text color and for color give white font weight as 600. So you can see now the active tab got highlighted. So guys, with this, we have completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.